Hello, welcome back to the Ball Games 4K YouTube channel. And this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings. We generally talk a lot of bollocks about tabletop gaming in general. And in this video, we'll be talking about a tennis flicking game. We're going to be talking about a set and match. And in this game, you'll be flicking a disc or a tennis ball backwards and forwards across a court trying to land your disc in a certain area that will give you points that will allow you to win a game of set and match so in this video we're going to be giving you a very brief overview of the rules we're telling you what we do like don't like then we'll come back and we'll tell you whether or not a set and match is worth your time and bother today and in the future so remember if you're new here then please consider subscribing to this channel leave a comment in that section down below and we'll see you after this board games 4k so set a match how do you play this game so set a match consists of a board that is kind of like laid out like a tennis court and you get two discs you're only going to be using one of them you get two discs and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to peel off the sticky felt you're going to stick it to the reverse side of one of the tennis ball discs right so this game follows the basic rules of tennis you're going to be getting points and the scoring follows the same sort of format as tennis you're going to get 15 points and you're going to get 30 then you're going to get 40 and if the other player gets 40 you're going to get juice and an advantage and that will give you a game so three games to a set three sets to a win so what you're going to do you're going to place your tennis ball on the left side of the baseline you're going to flick the tennis ball making sure that you get it into one of the target boxes on the other side of the net so on one side of the board you'll see that there is a points track when you serve you get an extra point to add to the point track and then you'll look at the number of the box that you have scored in and you'll add that to your serve total and that's how many points you will push the marker forward on your turn if you don't manage to get it in the box or if you go out of bounds then it is classed as out and if you don't get the ball into the box on your first serve you will get a second serve but then you don't get the one point bonus that you would have got had you got the disc into the box on your first serve right so if you make a successful serve then the next player will flick the disc from that position that it landed in and then they'll try and get as many points as possible to push the marker back towards you this is called a rally you'll keep doing this until one player has got the marker into the points box and then that will award them with a point that they will use by marking off on the right side of the board right so on the board there are a couple of imaginary areas you've got the cross court zones which are on the side Side of the court and then you've got the drop court zones which are directly next to either side of the net so if you can flip the disc from cross court to cross court box on the other side then you can get an extra one point and if you can hit the disc from the back of the court to your opponent's drop court zone and you get an extra point for that and all. so you keep doing this you'll keep flicking the disc backs and forwards and rallies until one player has won the majority of three sets and that player will be the winner of set and match so what do we like about a set and match? So the first thing that we really like about a set and match is that this is the closest thing we've played to real tennis, not real tennis, tabletop tennis, the closest thing that we've played to tennis probably ever. I mean, it really does sort of accurately, well, as accurately as possible without picking up a tennis racket, right? Replicate the thrill and excitement of real tennis we were really surprised we thought yeah, it's just another flicking game but it isn't it really does the unique points mechanism that sort of replicates rallies where you're you've got this sort of tug of war pushing this disc towards your opponent to to increase the strength of your rallies and they push it back and eventually somebody shows enough skill to get those make two or three points that we're going to push it over the line that really does sort of feel like you are gaining momentum when you are struggling to capture that point that you really need to win the game so the second thing that we really like about set match is this game supports doubles yes it does it supports doubles on the court you've got an extra area that like in real tennis will be utilized when you are playing with four players and the rule book does have rules for alternating between 
player so right so player a it's going to serve to player b and then player c will serve to player d and it all goes on like that right so the fact that this does accommodate four players what else can we say that's superb so the next thing that we really like about set and match is it's not just a case of flicking a disc backwards and forwards across a piece of cardboard they have got these extra rules that thematically address the nuances of real tennis not real tennis but just tennis but real tennis do you know do you know what i mean not only have you got the importance of getting your first serve in because it gives you a one point bonus but you get those bonus points for the tricky shots into the drop court zone and also your accurate shots if you can go from cross court to cross court and then also you are tempted into risking everything on trying to get those tricky shots into the corners that are going to give you three points and also you've got the ace boxes that you can aim for on your serve to capture the point with one shot so this game really is thematically sound it is it took us by surprise but we are really really happy that they did think about how to incorporate some of the finer points of the actual game itself so what don't we like about a set and match so the first thing that we don't like about a set and match is the rule book this rule book is all over the bloody place we were looking at this scratching our heads when we first picked this up because it refers to different figures or different diagrams right that we couldn't find in the book and it was only through chance that we were looking through to see if we could actually cut this up because it's got loads of other languages in there did we find that the visual aid they're referring to was stapled into the center of the rule book but it doesn't tell you that it's in there so we were looking through it thinking what figures are they on about we haven't got the foggiest idea what these people are referring to when they talk about the rally scorer when they're talking about the match scorer and what they're, when they're talking about the different things you've got to do in a rally because everything is in this visual aid thing and we couldn't find it for the first half an hour and then we just by chance stumbled across it so that's a bit of a dumb thing to do and it really sort of frustrated us when we first dug this game out of box so the next thing that we don't like about set and match is because it tells you it actually tells you here to unstaple this visual aid i cut my bleeding finger whilst trying to price the bloody staples out you know what i mean and that really annoyed me i was walking around thinking no you know if i wanted to cut my finger then i'd just go and get a knife from the kitchen i wouldn't spend a load of money on a board game and then have to prize open those staples thinking that i might get tetanus you know what i mean what's that all about eh so the next thing we don't like about a set of matches the court size is probably just a touch too small for our liking it's kind of difficult to judge your shots accordingly it takes a lot of skill to do that but there is a larger version of this i think they call it like the wimbledon special edition but i want like 70 quid for it and there's no way that we are gonna shell out 70 quid for a larger version of this game so if it, if the ball was just that little bit bigger it would have been a little bit better so the next thing the final thing we don't like about this game if they'd included some kind of marker obviously you can do this yourself they didn't have to put one in but they could have done they could have put it in if they'd given you a marker that reminds you which side of the court you just served from then that would help there are occasions where you get so engrossed in the game that you do actually forget which side of the court you should be serving on next and that could ruin the match if you're playing with a person that likes to follow the rules as is so to summarise, is set and match worth your time and bother today and in the future? This is the most fun version of tennis that we uh, played. Obviously, we recently reviewed a game called Athen Tennis that tried to recreate the frills and spills of the, t of the game of tennis, but it sort of failed in a sort of way because it was quite difficult to get your monkey if you haven't seen the review you won't know what i'm talking about you get your monkey where it will another go but this one avoids that by flicking the disc across the board and then just picking it up where it lands right so games progress very very quickly indeed so this game never seems to get boring visually this game is very unappealing it doesn't look like anything special i think the wimbledon version of this does look a little bit better but the version we got is tries to replicate a clay court and it doesn't look very nice at all but the risk reward mechanism where you're trying to get the market in the zone that's going to score you the points is utterly utterly compelling it's exciting 
It's fast, it's interesting, and we really, really enjoy this game. Yeah, we are very surprised. We didn't think it was going to be this good. And with Wimbledon maybe coming up, I think it's coming up, I think it's been rescheduled for obvious reasons, we are going to be playing this. I'm going to pretend to be Fred Perry. I've got enough of the bloody shirts, and I? So we're going to give set a match five out of five. It's yet another dexterity game that is going to enter our revised top 10 if and when we do it so there you go that's set a match remember if you are newer then please consider subscribing to this channel leave a comment in that session down below and we'll see you next time